called it a complete waste of a half hour. We call it Talk Soup. Hi, I'm Mario Jonas. You know, I've always wanted to host Talk Soup, and John Henson must be a really secure man to let a guy like me come in and host the show. I mean, Jay Leno was not the original host of this night show, and that's all I'm going to say. Well, I'm not trying to take his job or anything. I just want to tell the producers, if I had this job, I do think I'd be a more cost-efficient host. For instance, no vacation, and that 15 minutes for hair and makeup, well, as you can see. <laughs> Coming up, the fastest-talking man in the world. Latoya Jackson shows off her daring new look. Plus, how about a little salad to go with your talk suit? Croutons? Better think. Yeah, I gotta have some croutons. We'll have more with Paul Newman later. Paul Newman? The Paul Newman? You've gotta be kidding me. I'm not kidding, Tom. First up, Jean had trouble keeping tabs on her delinquent daughter, Tiffany. It seems the wayward youth wasn't showing up to school on a regular basis. So mom took matters into her own hands. After a quick trip to the hardware store, Jean literally chained herself to Tiff for 24 hours. Here she is telling Lisa all about it. Well, every day I was getting a phone call at, at work saying that she wasn't at school. So I took action. I went and got this chain. <laughs> I put it around my waist just like this and locked it, and I did the same thing to her. We stayed like that for 24 hours. We slept together, we ate together, we showered together, we went to school together. Now, Tiffany, how much did you hate that? I didn't like it at all. I bet you didn't like it at all. I would think that this, did the school say good for you, Mom? No. I went into the principal's office and told her that I was going to sit with Tiffany for the next, for that particular school day, and that I was going to sit right beside her. And she said, no, ma'am, you have to sit in the back of the classroom. I said, no, ma'am, you're mistaken. I said, I'm going to sit right beside her. <laughs> then she told me it was child abuse, and she picked up the telephone and called the police department to come out and have me arrested. But what they failed to know was I had called the police department the night before when I first did it and told them what I had done. Yeah, Jean, that's not child abuse. See, what she did, she just replaced the umbilical cord with the chain. It's no big deal, right? Right? You've been attached to your mother. That's nothing traumatic. Monday, Lisa focuses on teenagers and their recreational drug use. Miss Gibbons takes a look at the dangerous side effects of the trendy new drugs. Say what you will about Michael Berger. The home and family funny man doesn't mind risking his life if it makes for good television. In this highlight, he'll lie on a bed of nails while Christina Ferrari attempts to break a cinder block on his stomach. Joining in on the fun will be Su Chin Pak, host of the PBS show Newton's Apple. Everyone ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's tenderize some burger. And what I want you to do is give it the hardest whack you can possibly muster. Oh, that's muster. Exactly. Both hands. Both hands, and the harder the better. Right the harder in the, the middle better. Of that. Well, you see right here. What are you Here's saying the sign of the cross for? <laughs> I'm the one who needs to pray. <laughs> All right, okay. Michael. One, really hard. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, that's one try. Oh, oh. Center here. Yeah, let's keep trying until don't we hit right. something. Right in the middle. Right. Right we'll put right. a mark. Right Christina, really this is brick. That is bone. Okay, that's, okay, here, let me give it one, one whack here. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, no! There you go. I tried that. To... Oh, are you okay? I'm fine, You're fine. sure. So let's get up. You see? Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Boy, it looks like he got some holes in his shirt. Good thing he wore an old rag, huh? <laughs> wow, it's a talk soup shirt. <laughs> oh, man, he could have at least worn a talk soup in Tahiti shirt. They can't unload enough of those. Oh, Monday on Home and Family, Kirk Douglas will be the guest. The man with the indestructible chin will promote his new book, Climbing the Mountain. I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. I want to be Spartacus. I am Spartacus. If Conan O'Brien and Andy Richter had their druthers, there'd be a new choo-choo available in, to kinky commuters. Yeah. It's a racy railway system they call the porn train. Where'd they get such a kooky idea? Well, in New York, you have to walk through the porn district to get to the Port Authority. Putting two and two together, they came up with the four-play flyer. So without further ado, all aboard, all aboard for the porn train.
That's the worst porno music ever. I don't know how people make love to that music. There, there's a new there's a new porno train coming over from Jersey. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I would take the porno train in from New Jersey. I would. That would be if there was a porno train yeah. that made that waka chicka sound as you went along and God knows what happened, I would take that and it cost like eight dollars. Mm -hmm. What if Amtrak should introduce? Because Amtrak, let's face it, they're not doing well. Ever since the government took over Amtrak. Our train system's been going in the toilet. If they introduced a new porno train, everybody in the country would be riding it, even if they didn't have to. Exactly. There's People would be going 60 miles out of their way to get back to work. There's already little little booths, you know, the bathrooms. <laughs> put in we didn't need to specifically know how we would convert the porno train. Well, you're the only I'm one trying to help. You're the one that's worried. Yeah. Tonight you're going to go an home. Engineering problem. <laughs> How to bring porno <laughs> to the rail system. <laughs> ah, yes, the little train that could and did and didn't want to stop. <laughs> Monday on Late Night, Conan conducts a probing interview with actor Martin Sheen, the progenitor of the Estevez and Sheen tribes, was last seen in Spawn. As in, please don't spawn again, Martin. <laughs> Still to come, this Henson free version of Talk Soup Paul Newman turns Gary Chapman into a light and tasty salad. Plus, the world's fastest talker tells his life story in 30 seconds flat. But first, can love exist between a gay roommate and a man without a penis? Yeah. <laughs> you can get my... From the network that covers entertainment 24 hours a day comes a one-hour news show bringing you the most comprehensive entertainment news every day. It's the entertainment news you want to watch when you can watch it. Every weeknight, live at 6. Get the latest breaking stories from Hollywood and around the world, plus exclusive interviews with your favorite stars. E! delivers one hour of the best entertainment news on television. It's all the coverage you want, and now it's on when you can watch it. E! News Daily, every weeknight at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E! This is my favorite wall. This is my favorite chair. These are our favorite chairs. <laughs> this is my favorite place to work. What's my favorite store? Pier 1. Pier 1. Pier 1. We all have our favorites. Find yours today at Pier 1 Imports. It's a world of magic, a world of fun with Mickey and friends along. A touch of delight makes music and light so each can play a song. It's a world of magic, a world of fun with Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Soft and snuggly, give them a touch, they'll crawl around the house. The new Disney Melody Lights go around and touch and crawl babies make magic with just a touch from your baby. Disney toys! They're magic, they're laughter, they're fun. When your kids are asking for a Halloween treat, Elmo says boo is silly and sweet. For learning numbers one, two, three, Bernie says come count with me. There's the best of Elmo and kids' favorite songs for kids who love to sing along. Brand new cassettes and videos from Sesame Street, the place kids grow, where the laughter and learning never end. Sesame Street Video and Audio. Mom, play it again. From Sony Wonder. Always collectible, now available at Toys R Us. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. Okay, you don't have to tiptoe around that beautiful wood floor anymore. Just pledge to take care of it with Pledge Wood Floor Cleaner and its muscle of polyurethane. It helps protect against scuff marks and scratches like no other wood floor cleaner. Yeah, I'm walking. So go ahead, walk all over that floor. Just pledge to take care of it with Pledge Wood Floor Cleaner. That's the young What's got the entertainment world buzzing? Who's on? But I have some other big news. 1-800-COLLECT is now 10 cents a minute every evening and all weekend long. That's pretty amazing. That's 1-800-COLLECT. Okay, just push start. Let's Turn do it. Push. Go. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. in a future remarkably like our own, this is Talk Soup. Hi, I'm Mario Joyner, in for John Henson, who's off somewhere doing something other than working. You know, I said if a man has a job, he should work. Yeah. Anybody remember Earl Z? He's the wacky Springer guest who snipped off his member with a pair of garden shears. Earl said he did it to ward off the advances of Ronnie, a former roommate. When we last heard from this duo, things looked pretty dire. But perhaps there's an upside to this whole grisly episode.
maybe, just maybe, a rare precious love can blossom. Here's Ronnie now, trying to capture the heart of the anatomically disadvantaged Earl Z. Well, all I know is that um, I'm here because I still love you and I care you for you. You can love me all you want. And there's been a lot of things you've told me that you haven't really been honest about I'll tell you it and I'm everything right here else. Right now. And I'm coming to I was going I'm asking you to marry me. And you can kiss my I probably can do with it, but I know Earl, what I'm it's not for. sure that's the finger you put it on. Uh, <laughs> we're not talking about that. We're talking about sticking it well, somewhere. You're asking, okay, you're asking him to marry you. Yes. And he can kiss him. <laughs> Why? Is it because you're afraid to come out of the closet and really, really express your damn feelings, who the hell you really are and what you are? My feelings are for women, not you. They never were five years ago. Five years ago, there was no feeling for you then. There's none yes, now. Yes, there was. Why don't you be yeah. honest? I'm tired I've of you, you lying. Arrested. I'm tired of you with your honesty. You can do what you want. You can say what you want. I've already said what I'm going to say, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say right no now. for answer. I'm tired of it. Ronnie, Ronnie, what self-respecting gay man wants a man without a penis? <laughs> he might as well be sleeping with a, with a woman. <laughs> Things are all backwards now. That's what the world is. We have, uh, we have rich people who are broke. We have broke millionaires. We have ugly models, and we have uh, fat people with no eating problems. What? Everything's all backwards. Monday on Jerry, a woman gets the surprise of her life. Tune in as when she finds out that her husband has a secret second family. No wonder he forgets the kid's birthday. We all know Whoopi Goldberg, the actress. We all know Whoopi Goldberg, the comedian. Now get ready for Whoopi Goldberg, the author. That's right, kids. The Whoopster has a new book out, imaginatively titled Book. In it, she shares some of her funny observations about the world. Here she is divulging some of her tidbits on The Tonight Show. Now, you have a whole chapter here yes. on, on uh, uh, men and women in bathrooms. This yes. seems to be another... Uh, this is a big man, issue with Big me. issue with you. Okay. How many women live with a man who remembers, who remembers to put the toilet seat back down? Oh. No, 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 no. That ain't a lot. Wait, wait, wait. wait how no. many women, how many men live with women who don't put the car seat back after they use it? is the same thing because let's look at it this way. I hope not. <laughs> no. Here you are, you stand and you sit. Right. We sit. We sit all the time. <laughs> we sit in the middle of the night after you stood. <laughs> when we sit in what you leave, because you we know you don't want to wake us up with a flush. We appreciate that. But we know what we're in when we hit it. <laughs> You know? Hmm, I never thought of that, Whoopi. Whoopi's now hard at work on a follow-up book entitled Paperback. Ooh. Should be intriguing. Monday on The Tonight Show, Jay jabbers with actress Goldie Hawn. She'll talk about starring in the upcoming film version of Auntie Mame. You may not remember his name, but you no doubt heard his high-speed banter. He's John Moshida, and he's the fastest talker in the world. In this Sally highlight, John delivers a brief and extremely brief account of his colorful career. Ronnie, how did you learn to talk that fast? Well, Sally, when I was 12 years old growing up on Long Island, there was a shovel palsy for a few blocks away from my house. Main asked they would donate $2,000 to cerebral palsy for anyone that broke a Guinness record. So first I wanted to ride the roller coaster at Coney Island. So I called Coney Island and they said, hey, you can take a hike. Well, 12 years old, we are not going to let you strap yourself in the cycle for two weeks straight. So I went home and I started flipping through the book and decided I wasn't going to eat a car, swallow lead pipe. So the next best thing was to lock myself in a room and teach myself how to do the fast talking, which is what I did. I also had five sisters, so to get a word in edgewise, there was a little bit of self <laughs> He wasn't saying nothing. <laughs> I mean, it was quick, but I understand his girlfriend has the quickest fake orgasms in the world also. I understand that. Monday on The Sally Show, meet moms who are fed up with their no-account kids. They say the little monsters are out of control, and they like to boot them out of the house pronto, if not sooner. Sooner? Can't do nothing sooner than pronto. Pronto as quick as you can do it. Unless you want to do it at once. <laughs> at once, that's like you better be right by the door. Boom, at once. Still the come on talk suit, Paul Newman tosses Gary Chapman like a cheap salad. Details are forthcoming. And straight ahead, Latoya Jackson bears all. Find out how she feels about small children after these messages.
Tonight on the E! Nightly Special, get ready for the best hour of entertainment on television. Searching for Alexandra's athletic ability? Steven's studly legs? Maureen's marvelous abs? Well, you gotta work for them, baby. Because whether it's training at the gym or counting calories at home, they're always working it. So grab your water bottle and get ready to sweat on E's celebrity diet and fitness. So give us an hour, and we'll give you much more than entertainment. E's Nightly Special tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E! Now at Sears Portrait Studio, save over 50%. Get all these portraits for our new low price of only $7.95. <clears throat> only $7.95. Save over 50%. Now at Sears. Hurry in. You're the worst kidnapper I've ever met. Well, I'm trying to do my best here under really difficult circumstances. Drive! A life less ordinary. Rated R. October 24th, only in theaters. We asked people to try a pasta dinner. That's very good taste. It's very, very good. Do you like that? I think she really likes the sauce a lot, too. Tell me what it is. Okay, it's Hamburger Helper. Is it really? Yeah, and try new four-cheese lasagna and ravioli. Do you want more? <laughs> okay. It's show and tell with playmates from the past and showgirls. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Introducing the first ever daily... Pro there is mystery in this mansion. <laughs> the door's locked. A&E brings to television a gothic tale of two souls, bound by destiny, torn by deceit. You were never in love with me, Jane. You are a married man. But I'm still me. It is wrong. We are one soul, Jane. Jane Eyre premieres Sunday, October 19th on A&E. Willem Dafoe is inside the actor's studio. He said, Mark Scorsese, you know, he's doing this last temptation thing. And I said, yeah. Like, so what's in it for me? Unscripted, unrehearsed. He had seen To Live and Die in L.A. and Platoon. And somewhere between the two of those things, he, he thought he had his Jesus. Willem Dafoe on Bravo's exclusive original series, Inside the Actor's Studio. Hosted by James Lipton. Premieres Sunday, October 19th at 9 Eastern and Pacific. We're back, and as you can see, affirmative action has finally made its way to talk soup. I'm Mario Jordan, sitting in for John Henson. After a year of laying low and getting divorced from her husband, Latoya Jackson is back and better than ever. These days, she's looking an awful lot like her brother Michael. And as this RuPaul interview reveals, she's also sounding a lot like him as well. Here she is talking about her sister Janet and her newly discovered love for children. Emmanuel Lewis, this one is for you. Are you the rebel of the Jackson clan? I never really looked at myself that way, but of course when I was married, someone else wanted to see me that way, but mm -hmm. I don't think I am, no. No. Well, um, who would you consider the rebel of the family? Geez, I would say more or less Jan basically is. Why? I just because she's a bit more outgoing and outspoken what she wants and feel that she should do, she does it. How do you think she was, she's able to do it and, and you feel you're I not? I guess it's the different. It's not that I feel that I'm not, I couldn't do it. Or, it's just the personalities, the individuals. Mm -hmm. A very sweet person, very wonderful, but it's that control. She wants it, she goes and she gets it. Yeah. She demands it. Now, now tell me this. Um, I, you know, I think America feels like they know you, but they really don't know you. Now, if I were, say, from Mars, <laughs> and I never, I've never heard of you before, Explain yourself to me. Who are, who is Latoya Jackson? I would say basically a very passionate person, very caring, very loving, love, love children, love to be around them, love them because they're just like the essence of the trueness of, of goodness and just wonderfully happy. They don't know evil, bad, or good. And yeah. it's wonderful that way. You love and they will speak openly and tell you what they truly feel, which is great. Well, that's why I don't like children. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. <laughs> I love kids. I love kids. Have some kids, Latoya, if you love them. Latoya says she has no regrets about posing for her Playboy celebrity centerfold. I, on the other hand, have regrets about buying it. I was a young kid. I didn't know any better. You'll never believe who's going to be on Monday's RuPaul. I'd tell you the name, but you'd probably think I'm lying. Yes, he or she is that famous. Just tune in and find out for yourself. The comic performer Flex is perhaps best known for his work on Homeboys in Outer Space. Flex currently stars 
in the Stephen Bosco drama, Total Security. He says he's constantly being confused with Marlon Wayans from the Wayans Brothers. Here he is discussing the matter with Marlon's big brother, Keenan Ivory Wayans. The people who confuse me with, with your brothers, with Marlon, they, all the time, do they? man. All the time. And, and I do the thing now where I sign autographs and uh, uh, bad autographs. Like, uh, <laughs> I hate you, kiss my butt, the Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's funny you say that because that happens to them all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and uh, they kind of do the same thing. I actually uh, got some footage of them. <laughs> what? Boy, put your hands where it's flat, you can see them. That's right. Uh huh. Now give flat all your money. Okay. Now when you call the cops, you call that flat drive. That's right. F L E X, flat from homeboys, not flat. Oh, yeah. Oh, Flex here. <laughs> Incidentally, homeboys from outer space offended the NAACP, Bill Cosby, Spike Lee, and anyone with an IQ over 110. Monday, Keenan chats it up with Whitney Houston. She'll describe what it was like performing on her live HBO special. The following highlights from this morning has something for the culture and something for the crafts. For the art fans, we'll be presenting the paintings of homeless artist Don Denere, or as he's known in, to folks in Woodstock, New York, Recon Don. And to keep our regular talk suit viewers happy, these paintings will be covered with a bunch of naked ladies. That's right, they're bare breasts. They're coming at you, boy. Of course, they're tastefully rendered. I'm living in my pickup truck. Before that, I was living in my Ram Charger. Before that, I was living in my station wagon. Don Denary has lived on the streets of Woodstock off and on for 25 years. It had its good points and bad points. There was nowhere to go to the bathroom. That was the bad point. Getting hassled by the cops or something, that was another bad point. Everyone in town knew him as Recon Don, the homeless guy panhandling for coffee money. Then, Primitive but striking nudes started showing up in people's living rooms with the signature Denary. Turned out, Recon Don could paint. His figures are beautiful. His nudes are very innocent. Uh, there's one painting that I can recall right now that evokes memory of the Mona Lisa. But it's a nude Mona Lisa. It's Don's Mona Lisa. Don has been married five times and he has nine children. Well, it sounds like he's been in somebody's home. <laughs> at least, at least the bedroom a couple of times. Coming up after the break, it's our talk soup of the day. It's our soup of the day. I'm sorry, let's say talk soup of the day. Soup of the day. Or should that be a uh, salad? Paul Newman dresses down Gary Chapman with this zesty Italian dressing. Do you like romaine? I love or, romaine. Uh, romaine is would good. You, would you prefer head lettuce? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Anything's okay with you me. you like tomatoes? I'd love a little tomato, sure. It was the era of feathered hair and roller boogie. In the 70s, it was called the me decade. Swinging was a way of life. People dated more than one person, and they were probably sleeping with more than one person. And the playmates of the 1970s were living it up. The mansion was extremely wild. There's parts of it I don't remember. Now, cruise down memory lane with the hottest girls of the disco days and see how they're staying alive in the 90s. Don't miss Playmates of the 1970s, Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. It was the first time I had seen this play, and I just had to know. Romeo, dost thou love me? Does that love come with a lifetime guarantee? Huh? Lifetime guarantee? What do you think this is? That new GM Good Wrench Service Plus? I got a lifetime guarantee on parts and labor, plus upfront pricing, plus courtesy transportation, new GM Good Wrench Service Plus. The plus means better. <laughs> Call for the select GM dealer near you. Nobody can say no to Honey Nut Cheerios. Nobody can say no to the Honey Nut O in Honey Nut Cheerios. Toasted, tasty, nutty honey, that's the reason why. It's real golden honey that makes every oh so irresistibly good. 
Nobody can say no to the honey nut oh and honey nut cheerios. Nobody can say no to the honey nut oh and honey nut cheerios. Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. They're the only diapers with a leak lock system. In the middle for girls, up front for boys. For outstanding leakage protection anytime. Just singing and dancing in the rain. Another Nokia discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia we make our screens big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia, connecting people. Hey, wait for me. It smells good. Pass it down. It's an indisputable fact that kids love the taste of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Good. Yeah. And ever since we added more chicken, there's been even more to love. Well, I'm hungry. Which means there's still more to go around. Hey, I never knew there was chicken in this soup. Mmm, Campbell's makes everything. Mmm, better. I'm Alec Baldwin. You really want Chevy Chase? Oh, I'm still Chevy Chase. And you're not. And you're watching E! Entertainment Television. We're back for one final assault. I'm Mario Joyner, in for a skunk boy. Mm -hmm. What's Cool Hand Luke doing on a primetime country? Maybe Paul Newman wants to increase the sales of his salad dressing in the Nashville area. Maybe he lost a bet. Maybe he just thinks Gary Chapman's head looks like a giant crouton. Who knows? The important thing is, the Oscar winner is, was willing to risk damage to his sterling reputation by appearing in this bit of nonsense. Good for him, I think. No, no. Yeah. Oh, I should sit? Sure. You're gonna, what are you going to do, make me a little salad? Why You're kind of famous for salad. <laughs> do you like romaine? I or love or, romaine. Uh, romaine is would good. You, would you prefer head lettuce? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Anything's okay with you me. you like tomatoes? I'd love a little tomato, sure. Dill pickle? Why do I feel like a dog that just had surgery? What is up with this? Hey, it's going to get worse. Okay. Oh, little carrots Yeah, in carrots would be good, but it'd be fine. All right. Huh. All right, thank you very much. Croutons. Yeah, thank you. I got to have some croutons. Thank Boy. you. Wow. This is ought to clean off the table. Yeah. Here. You're really a... Uh, and here we go with this. Yeah. Fine. Okay. What was that? Oh, carrots. I love, I love that. Okay. Now, would you prefer the, uh, the you know, Italian you like light or do you want the Newman's own original? Uh, yeah, whatever you think is correct is fine with... Do you have any Hidden Valley? I love that ranch, the Hidden Valley. Newman on primetime country. And I thought I was slumming doing this show. Makes me feel pretty good. Monday on primetime country, he's a pickin' and Gary's a grinning. I'm talking about hee haw banjo player extraordinaire Roy Clark. Coming up on the weekend edition of Talk Soup, a civil rights lawyer with a less than civil tongue. Sit your beer belly ass down. <laughs> and the defense rests. <laughs> that about wraps it up for this edition of Talk Soup. I'd like to take out a moment to thank the Talk Soup staff for letting me sit in. Third Rock from the Sun's French Stewart will be hosting this weekend. Uh, I'm Mario Jordan, and I'd like to say so long. And don't forget, no makeup time. Well, obviously, he turned me down. <laughs> Thank you.
This did not make me feel sexy. You caught him in the bedroom with your best friend? Boo Boo Kitty's in the girls' locker room, huh? Why do I feel like a dog that just had surgery? Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello America. You're watching the Talk Soup weekly wrap-up in spite of the Surgeon General's warning. That's